Hi, it's Nick from Meat Smoke Fire here and some of you have asked me what's the difference between the Let's Q and the Big Green Egg Rotisserie that's just launched. So Big Green Egg Rotisserie been out for the last week, uh, Let's Q Rotisserie been out for the last five years, we've been selling them for the last three. So I just thought I'd show you the differences or the similarities really. Um, so these are the important bits, the bit the meat goes on, uh, the spits, um, you can see they are nigh on identical. Um, they're exactly the same length uh, with a exception of the handles. The big green egg handle is this one on the right. It's just slightly longer. Uh, it's also smooth, whereas the Let's Q one is, is slightly rough, but otherwise pretty much identical. So the key component to these is this wedge shaped ring. Um, this sits on inside your egg and allows the dome to close on it. The spit goes through it and the rotisserie goes onto this mount. So on the Let's Q, it's mounted on the left hand side of your egg. And so your handle for your spit is on the right and you'll take the food on and off with your right hand. Um, it's a boxed steel construction, powder coated. Yeah, very simple. The one for the big green egg, or the big green egg version, you'll see is very similar. Exactly the same design mount, box section, powder coated steel, possibly made in the same factory. Couldn't say, but um, they look so similar. Um, yeah. In terms of the motors, you'll see there's two motors here. Uh, this one, the stainless steel one is uh, the big green egg one. The metal and plastic one is the Let's Q one. Um, but importantly, they're both made by exactly the same company and they both have exactly the same motor and gear thing inside. I've opened them both up. The parts are identical. So in terms of how much they can spin, how much food they can turn on the spit, it's gonna be exactly the same. They are essentially the exact same motor. Um, the Let's Q one is uh, IPX4 certified. So is the Big Green Egg one. But there is a sticker on this one saying, don't use it in the rain. This one, I have the Let's Q one I've used in the rain, used it loads, works absolutely fine. So there you go. And then the only other difference, whoops, between the two of these is the Let's Q one, and I've taken, sitting on the Big Green Egg box, but the Let's Q one comes with a little spanner that allows you to tighten and loosen um, the thumb screws on these um, forks on the spit. So it's kind of handy. There isn't one of those in the Big Green Egg box. Um, pretty much identical products, pretty much. Um, the Big Green Egg one is finished slightly better. The Let's Q one has, you can see the, um, the welds, the little, pot, the little welds on it. You can't see those on the Big Green Egg, um, but they don't interfere with performance in the slightest. Um, no, both products pretty much identical. Uh, the Big Green Egg one available for large and extra large. The Let's Q product available for mini max and small, medium, large and extra large. So an extra two sizes uh, in the Let's Q range. Um, if I were gonna buy one, which would I buy? Doesn't really matter, they both do exactly the same thing. The only difference being where do you want your motor to be, to be mounted on the um, big green egg one, it will be on the right hand side of your egg and stick out. So if you do your prep on the right hand side of your egg, like I do, you might wanna go for the Let's Q. If you do the prep on the left hand side of your egg, then you might want your motor, uh, sorry, on the, on the left hand side of your egg, you might want the motor on the, on the right hand side. So therefore you'd go for the big green egg. Um, price wise, big green egg, a little bit more expensive than the Let's Q, but in terms of products, nigh on identical. 